guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for a bit of a play today um, with our patina, um, uh, yeah, whatever you would call these. I guess they're kind of paints, really. Um, now, I have got kind of a variety here, but I have to be honest, I will probably just stick really with these two. And what I want to do is just show you guys how I'm going to colour some bits and pieces so that they're kind of you know faux rusted or you know different colors anyway now i have to say totally not my idea i saw this originally on um oh, tracy fox uh she had a video doing this she had originally got the idea from rt maze so it's a kind of like thank you to tracy fox <laughs> um who showed it on behalf of rt maze um and yeah really really works well i'm also going to attempt to color some of my brads that you know i don't kind of tend to use because again they're you know they're just a bit bright and perhaps not not quite such the thing you know that we want to be using so just going to pick out a few oops a few brads that you know i'm not really likely to use in their current form now i have to say i've not actually tried this on the brads so Yep, let's just, fingers crossed that this is going to work. Oh, I can't even get this one separated. Oh, dear. Right, not a good start to the video. Okay, let's just take some of these pink ones. Uh, you have to excuse my cuffs. I bought these cuffs from um, Amazon a while ago. I just love a bit of kind of faux fur. So I'd bought these thinking, oh, you know, they're going to look really pretty on my jumpers, um, you know, sleeves. I do think they look really pretty and I do, yeah, I do really like them. But they're probably a bit in the way for the video. So actually, after I've sorted out a few brads, I will take them off so that they're not quite so distracting. Because they're probably, you know, a bit in the way. Plus, I'm probably going to get them covered in patina if I'm not too careful. Right. So I'm just going to take, yeah, a few of the brads that just in their current form, I'm not, you know, so likely to use. So I've got lots of these big round ones with letters on, which... You know, I absolutely loved, obviously, in my scrapbooking days. But, yeah, if I'm truthful, I'm not really probably likely to use them now. Um, I've got a couple of kind of silver hearts. Again, you know, really great in my scrapbooking days, but, you know, not perhaps quite so ideal now. So I'll just take out a few more. I mean, to be honest, while you're doing this, you know, you're probably better off doing kinds of tons, kind of tons, really, rather than just a few. Um, you know, whilst you've got your kind of stuff out, it just makes sense to do kind of more rather than rather than less, really. So, yeah, just sort out a few that you think, you know, you're not likely to kind of want. And I'm going to include, you know, coloured ones and all sorts, really. So, like I say, I haven't actually tried this and I'm just winging a prayer, hoping that this is going to work. Um, we, we will see. We will see if it works. I have tried this on the paper clips and it works wonderfully. So just fingers crossed really that it's going to work on the brads. I don't see why it wouldn't. I also patinaed some buttons. So I've, again, I've bought along some buttons that hopefully we can kind of try and patina some, some buttons as well. So we'll just kind of see how we get on time wise really. Um, you know, because yeah, I mean, it's a really simple process, but it's you know, a little bit, I suppose, time consuming really by the time that, you know, especially if I'm going to do different colours because obviously that will mean separating some bits out, won't it? So we'll just see how we get on as to how much stuff we can actually, oops, actually achieve. Okay, have I got any others in here? You know, I might as well just do all of these silver hearts because, um, yeah, I mean, I've got to be honest, I really am not likely to use them in their silver you know silver form so yeah let's just take all of those out and the flowers which again you know I quite like those flowers but I'm just not likely to use them I've got some purple you know biggish purple kind of um, circles here you know so again might as well do those right let's just pop those back in there What's going on with that one? Couldn't... Oh, I see, yeah. It had that hot, hot bread kind of wedged into it. So, oh, I'm like, okay, then there we go. Right, the hot one I might have to bin because it looks like it's broken. Okay, right, I'm going to take my cuffs off. So these are just, they just literally slide on over your jumper. Oh, very, very cute. But yeah, probably not ideal for when you're doing videos. 
Okay, so what I've got here is just a bunch of sandwich bags. Now, mine are just kind of smaller ones, um, you know, rather than the kind of big Ziploc ones. So again, just use what you've got. You know, you don't have to kind of have special stuff. Now, I'm just going to take a bunch of these, probably try not to do the leaf ones, because I'm going to try and do these in perhaps a... A mix of like bronze and what do you think purple bronze and purple I don't know what colors we're going to get with these it's all just you know playing around really here so the bronze obviously is metallic the purple I don't think is metallic um, I don't know as I've actually used the purple I've got to be honest so all you want to do is squirt a bit of your patina into the bag and then, oops, I'm just going to take the bronze and do exactly the same. Just squirt a bit into there. Again, I should probably have my gloves on here. Oops, I'm just try and clean that nozzle off because I have used the, um, you know, the bronze and the copper patinas a lot. So, yeah, they're not. Oh, I can never remember which one, but one of these always gets clogged up, you know, and doesn't kind of work. I'm guessing it's this one, and it would be, wouldn't it? It would be the first one I start with. Oh gosh, can't now get my my stick pin thing into there at all. Okay. No, oh, I don't think I still got it in there. Oh, let's see. No. Just dropping bits of the copper from around the thing. Oh, I should really put my gloves on. Oh, uh, gloves. Well, yeah, actually, I should put my gloves on. But I was actually thinking I should put my glasses on. Let me do both of those things. So, yeah, let me just put in my my clear gloves from behind me. You'll be pleased to know that I have finally bought some of the, you know, the smaller ones. So, yeah, I think when I ordered them first time round, I couldn't get hold of any of the smaller ones. So I just had to get those ginormous ones, which, you know, they're, they're okay. But, I mean, obviously, they're kind of then flapping around. These are much better. Maybe not with a big ring, but oh well. Let's just do our best. Okay, right. There we go. And I'm going to try and cut the the end off here. Hopefully, will help it help it flow. Right, let's have a look. Okay, right. So we've got a few blobs in there now. And then you want to just get a little bit of your blending solution. Now this blending solution, it's called Fluids. It's blending alcohol ink solution stuff. And I got mine from Amazon. So again, you're just putting that in there and that's just so that you get more for your money really. You know, so that your, your patina and your, you know, mixing just goes a bit further. Cause I mean, otherwise it's not going to probably you know, extend all that brilliantly. So, and then just mix them around to coat them all. Now you're just trying to get them, you know, to have a sort of reasonably, reasonably even coat on there. Okay. And you could just leave them in the bag for a few minutes. Right, okay, so straight away I'm seeing here this is not that successful because I don't think it's kind of working as in dark enough to cover up like the letters. So I might need to put some more in. So I might just put a little dab more of the purple and then I might just put maybe a bit of blue. So yeah, are these um, patinas, I got them from from I think again I got them from Amazon and um, oops. aside from the fact that they don't want to actually work <laughs> okay let's just again unclog this I think they came in like mixed packs I'm thinking packs of two or packs of three I can't remember which um, but yeah they were like mixed packs so I think there was the pink, ooh, the pink and the purple and the blue. And then the green. The green maybe just came in a, an individual pack. I'm not sure. Like just two greens. 
hard to remember to be honest. Right, so we just again mix them around in the bag. Okay. Okay, so they've taken taken a bit better, haven't they? So yeah. We just needed something darker really to kind of fill them in with. I'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of the antique bronze in here, just for good measure. As I say, I haven't actually ever done this with these, um, you know, coloured ones really. I've only ever done it with paper clips and I've only ever done it with the bronze and the copper. So yeah, this is a bit trial and error really. But hey, you know, you don't know unless you try, do you? So, mm, not sure I'm loving these, it's got to be said. Kind of feeling they need a bit more of the metallic feel going on. Okay. Don't think I'm going to quite get the look I was after with these, so that's a bit of a shame. Right, let me get a piece of paper to put them onto. So, I've just got under my desk some of my scrap pieces let me just grab a piece in oh come on okay all right so i'm just going to put it on here must be careful because i've got um you know like a sort of check skirt on today like a wintry check skirt and it's um yeah kind of light in color i don't want to get this all over it and ruin my skirt so must be a bit careful right okay I mean these have not really kind of gone the right you know the right shades I was hoping for a different different shade really with these now I have to be honest actually the patinas the coloured ones I wouldn't necessarily buy again um I was obviously compelled to buy them because they looked really really pretty and they do still you know I maintain that they do still look very pretty in their packets um, you know when they come and they still look pretty in the bottle but I actually thought they were metallic when I bought them so yeah I was slightly disappointed when they arrived because they weren't metallic and um, yeah I just I wouldn't probably buy them again I would just stick with the copper and the bronze ones okay I mean maybe they do do metallic coloured ones I don't know but certainly the ones I got, they're not metallic and yeah, kind of wish really that, well, probably that I'd paid more attention when I was ordering them. Right, so I'm just dabbing the other bit of patina on them a little bit more to make sure that they're covered properly. Okay. Okay. So let's put this to one side and then I'm just going to keep this bag because we might might do something else, you know, with that bag. So, yeah, I'm not sure about those coloured ones, to be perfectly honest. I've, yeah, maybe kind of, maybe a mistake, but anyway, never mind. Right, let's go in with some other. So again, just bring in another sandwich bag. Oh, that's because it's got um, melted on my hot glue now. Right, so this time, let's just put all of the brads in. And I will just do these, I think, with the... with the bronze and the copper. And I might just add a little touch of green, because actually, I've got to be honest, I did like the green when I used it. So, yeah, maybe the green is the one that's kind of better to go for maybe the blue and the pink and the purple were not a great choice but maybe the green you know not so bad right I'm just going to have to now unclog this again okay right hopefully it's now fully unclogged okay so we just want a generous you know generous coating and then I'm just going to put this tiny bit of green in. So as you can see, you get the two, the two different greens. I mean, they're really lovely colours. I mean, like I say, in their 
bottles. They all look very scrumptious, I think. Okay, right, let's have a look. Oops, forgot to add the blending solution, so just a drop of that. And the blending solution, you know, I think is just really to make it go a bit further. So that you've got more for your, yeah, more for your money. Okay. Smoosh them around. I mean, obviously the breads, you know, they're also possibly not ideal because of course they've got the sticks on them. So, you know, they're not quite so easy to kind of like smoosh around in the bag as maybe buttons or, you know, paper clips and things. So, but hey, I mean, they've come out quite nice, haven't they? So again, I'm just going to pop these all on that piece of scrapbook paper to leave them to dry. Now, I've got to be honest, I can't remember because it's a long time since I did the buttons and the paper clips that I did before. And I can't remember whether I actually left them in the bag, to be honest. I think I possibly did. So yeah, I'm probably making a mistake taking these out. Should we leave these in the bag for a bit? Because, yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? Let's leave those in there. Right. Let's get another bag. Honestly, I'll have no bags left for the um, my daughter's fat lunch now. <laughs> right. So, what I've got here, I've got some of these kilt pins. Now, I've ordered these specifically for something um, that I'm trying to do. They are a little bit on the big side, it's got to be said. Um, which I guess, yeah, I should have should have thought of that really I mean being obviously kilt pins they're going to be quite big aren't they but again didn't really kind of think that through when I ordered them so let's just pour in pour in some of this and then again just go in with that copper color And then again, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that green in. I mean, I'm not too sure really whether the green actually is doing a lot. But just if it does, you know, because I mean, rust obviously, it often has a bit of a green thing, doesn't it, going on. So, yeah, let's just put a little bit of green in there. Oops, nearly forgot the blending solution. Just a little bit there. And again, just kind of smoosh them around in the bag. So these are straight away a little bit easier to do than the brads because of course they're not now poking through the bag like the brads were so yeah it's kind of slightly preferable okay I'm just going to show you how these look because I mean these you know are how I did my paper clips which actually you know they're really awesome aren't they so again I'm going to leave them in the bag for a few minutes but I might just pour in a little bit more of the green Actually, and I might put some darker green in as well. So I'm not sure if I've used this one again. Oops, but it looks good. Just because I thought actually perhaps they could do with being darkened up a little bit. So yeah, let's just kind of mix that around. Yeah, because I mean rust definitely, you know, it has a bit of a green thing going on, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm quite liking that quite a good good color so yeah overall I probably wouldn't order the um, pink and the purple and the blue patina again but I would perhaps order the green again because actually I think mixing the green with the copper and the bronze actually is really nice to be honest and just deepens that that rusty kind of tone yeah I think that's really nice okay right so again going to leave those in the bag for a few minutes so let's take another bag. In fact, let's bring that original bag back in. Heaven forbid that I would waste waste the bag. Um, and let's bring in a few more. And this time I'm thinking, let's add some pink, maybe and some purple to the bronze and the copper because, you know, again, maybe that will get quite a realistic rust type color. And I'm just thinking I might as well do all of these, you know, all of the um, pins that I ordered, because to be honest, it's very doubtful that I'm going to actually ever use them, you know, in their uh, silver colour. 
so yeah I might as well just just use them all so I've got this bright pink let me just take this okay I don't know whether I've still got the blue in the bag if you see what I mean so I'm just going to mix them round and I've not added any blending solution because I'm thinking probably there's enough left in the bag to to blend this uh oh this looks like a Halloween project now <laughs> yeah we have like a Halloween thing going on now yeah they're very 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 pink so let's add a bit of green in This is one way of um, actually making use of my other colours, isn't it? Not quite, not quite what I had in mind when I bought them, but you know, who knows? It might, it might just produce a bit more of an authentic, rusty, rusty colour. Although actually, now it just looks quite purple. Yeah, I think that's probably because I had the blue in the bag. To be honest, perhaps I should. Um, take them out and put them in a fresh bag after all I, I thought I was being very efficient you know and uh, not wasting bags but yeah maybe in hindsight I should have uh, not been so stingy and actually just got a fresh bag so well they're not too bad to be honest I mean they are a little bit on the purple side which you know not ideal but let's put some more green in and then just yeah, I might go with some of that other green as well. So they're quite fun to play with, to be honest. So yeah, I mean, even if I'm not getting quite the colours I was hoping for, <laughs> it is quite fun. I mean, it's just nice to do some different things sometimes, isn't it? And, you know, we'll be pleased once I've got a whole bunch of, you know, rusty kind of looking pins and brads and what have you to use. So yeah, oh dear. Oh dear, these are now very, very, very green. Right, time to bring in a new bag. I can't now. Just can't keep on being ridiculous. They've got to go in a different bag and, yeah, start, start kind of again. Let's just take these, put them in here. Like that. Okay. So this bag, I'm going to just pop these buttons in now. I've just bought literally a few buttons got like five buttons here just to give you a very quick demonstration I've only bought five because I've already done quite a few buttons and I put them separate to my other buttons if you see what I mean and actually I've not really got room in the pot to put any more so I thought well I'll just do five to give you an idea so again these are not going to be the best color because you know I've been really stingy and used that same bag but hopefully it's just going to be enough to give you just the idea if you've got those bright colored buttons you know from other packs and things that you've bought in the past you can just color them with your patinas and it's just another way of you know using them really right okay so let's go in with some more here and the bronze oh, come on Ooh. This is very annoying having to keep on un, um, clogging this every time I use it. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, again, I'm going to have to cut this open, I think, like I did the. Um copper one. Fingers crossed. Oh no, still not working. Oh yep. Yeah. Suddenly, suddenly it all came out. Right. So I'm hoping there's enough blending solution from the you know what's already on the pins. I mean that blending solution you really don't need very much as you can probably see. A little bit really does go a very long way so yeah not having to kind of top that up at all okay so I'm just going to show you so that's those pins now 
So to be fair, I mean, maybe that two-step process actually did assist them because they look a pretty good, authentic, rusty colour, don't they? So let's just leave those in there now to, you know, really kind of, yep, get the most out of those. I'm just going to move these brads out of the way. Right, now in here, I have got a bunch of paper clips. So the paper clips are obviously the thing I use most frequently, probably. Um, and I'm just going to, yeah, take a bunch of paper clips. So, and I'm going to do hopefully a bunch in different sizes. So some small ones and some medium ones. I think I've even got some big ones in here somewhere. Yeah, so we just do kind of a whole bunch like that. Oops. Do the rest of those. I mean, to be honest, I could even just do the whole bunch, you know, the whole lot. But, you know, I'll just do them in oops, this, this batch here. So these here, again, I'm just going to put the bronze in. calling it the bronze the copper oh, the copper I don't know why but for some reason to me it feels like they should be the other way around but yeah. right and I'm going to put some green in because I do quite like the little addition of the green I think it kind of you know gives it a bit more of a rusty appearance a bit of this green Maybe it darkens it slightly and then just a tiny bit of that blending solution. And then again, just going to go in, give them a good rummage around in the bag. Because in the past I have used the um, rusting kind of process. I saw it on Sagita from Sagita's Coffee Stains. I saw it on her channel really long time ago. I think when I first started journal making. And um, it does work brilliantly, but the only thing that I would say is, A, it's obviously way more time consuming than this is, um, you know, because you've got to kind of wait for, I think I left it for a few hours or maybe overnight for the, I think you bleach the things first in vinegar or something, or, or maybe you bleach them in bleach and then do them in vinegar. I can't quite remember, but anyway, it's on Sagita's channel. My only reservation with it, other than the fact it was a bit more time consuming than this, was I actually found that when I then came to use the paper clips or the, the you know, the rusted items, that what actually happened was the rust kind of, you know, flakes off. It comes off a little bit. Where this patina kind of method, it stays on. So, you know, this is, I guess, a bit more of a foolproof, a foolproof method. So yeah, it's probably just, you know, if you're wanting to kind of get something that's going to be a bit more permanent, this is probably better. Um, yeah, I was really pleased with the results of the rusting. Absolutely loved how everything looked. But yeah, when I came to kind of use them, like say the paper clips, you know, if I was then making a fabric paper clip, over touching the paper clip while I was say putting the fabric on, I found was actually wiping the rust off so yeah just kind of something to be a bit aware of there right I'm going to leave these in the bag so while we're leaving these things to just take I'm just going to get out one or two of the bits that we have actually done so, so that I can just show you you know the results so what was this in here oh this was those brads so these were the brads that we did first of all Okay, so you can probably see they've taken okay, um, but they could do with kind of a second coat because those letters are still th showing through on one or two. So all I'm going to do is just leave them to dry, I think, and then do a second coat of them. Um, you know, because definitely, without a doubt, they're going to be much more useful, you know, being these colour than they were in, say, like the pink with the letters. But yeah, that you know, you can just totally see that through there. So, I mean, actually that one, I could probably just 
dab that in and then get it out so so perhaps I need to do that with these I mean it's all a bit of a learning curve but yeah perhaps what I should do is kind of more like paint paint it on and then just get them out and leave them leave them out to dry that seems to be yeah perhaps a good method so oops oh, yeah because actually now I look it's not you know it's not obviously set on there at all so yeah I'm going to I think do that instead so I'm just going to kind of dab them into some of the patina that's here in the bag and then I'm going to just get them out whoops, get them out and set them to the side on that piece of scrapbooking paper that I was kind of having them resting on so again just that one and just bring it out to the bag okay so that's the brad so i will do that obviously in slow time won't kind of bore you with that now we then had oh what did we have oh the buttons right so let's have a look at the buttons so for the buttons i can't remember what color this button was but we've now got you know a much better sort of more vintagey color i mean obviously this is a bit of a sludge color because this was that sludgy sludgy mess that I have made with the, the combination of the colours but I mean definitely for me these buttons are now a lot more useful than they were I think this one might have been navy blue but it was looking quite modern and now it's got you know much more of a vintage kind of feel going on so again just going to get that out and leave that to dry oops then this one I can't remember what colour this one was oh, this one might have been an orangey colour so again just dab that off with the bag those little bubbles they'll they'll go so again just leave that to dry okay I must only have I think one or two more right so this one was very orange so again just kind of dab it off on the bag oops I think it might have been patterned actually so yeah let's just again dab that one off Oh dear, not made a very good job of that. But I mean, to be honest, that still looks better and more vintage than it did. So again, those um, bubbles will kind of, oh, that's got a butterfly in it. I was thinking, well, that's really weird. I can kind of see something in that. It had a butterfly on that um, button. So again, just going to leave that to dry to one side. And then this, I think, was the last one, which again, you know, it's now got quite a good, good colour on it. Oops. So leave that to dry. Right, I think that bag's empty. Okay, yeah. Right, let's bring in... So these are some of those pins that we did. Okay, so I mean, they're looking quite rusty and quite good now, aren't they? So what I need to do is now obviously just pour them all out onto kind of a big sheet or something so that they can all dry. So that's those. Then I've got... Oh that's the brad i've then got the safety pins that we mixed with some of the green so i mean they're looking really good and rusty aren't they love how they are looking very very nice so again just need to just pour these onto just a piece of paper to dry or you know a baking sheet or something to dry and then the same with these so this is the color difference between these two pins this one obviously has a lot more pinker look. This was the one that I did with kind of adding the green. I mean, to be honest, I think they're both quite a good rust colour. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure which one I actually think is better. But, you know, I think they're both absolutely fine. So I'm going to pour them all out and, you know, wait for them to dry. And then, um, you know, hopefully we can come back and have a bit of a play and make some bits with the bits that we have done. So I hope that was helpful and, you know, maybe given you some inspiration and things to try patina in your own things. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you guys again soon. Thanks then. Bye.